Hi class, I am teacher Jay Lutz. It's nice that you are here today to learn new things. Today, we are going to learn about the appearance and uses of solutions such as solid and solid, solid and liquid, and liquid and liquid. But before that, let us define what is a mixture. A mixture is made when two or more substances are combined, but they are not combined chemically. You have learned from your past lesson that there are two main categories of mixtures, the homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. A solution is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture has the same properties throughout the sample. It means that the substances mix thoroughly after stirring appeared as one substance. You can no longer distinguish one component from the other. An example is a mixture of sugar or salt in water. When sugar or salt dissolves in water, the two substances appear as one. The sugar or salt particles can no longer be identified. However, the taste of the water proves that the sugar or salt was not lost after mixing. Let us study the two pictures. Picture A is a mixture of sugar and water. Picture B is a mixture of sago and gulaman, which has a uniform appearance. Correct! Picture A, which is sugar and water, has a uniform appearance, which has a non-uniform appearance. Correct. Picture B, which is a go and gulaman, has a non-uniform appearance. Can you describe now what is a uniform mixture and non-uniform mixture? Tell whether the following mixtures are uniform or non-uniform. Air. Correct uniform soda you are right uniform water correct uniform salt and pepper you are right non-uniform sand and sugar correct non-uniform there are five types of solutions all these types are homogeneous number one is solid in liquid a solid substance is dissolved in a liquid substance for example sugar in water salt in water juice powder in water, or coffee in water. Second, liquid in liquid. A liquid substance can also be dissolved in another liquid, and these two substances can be mixed thoroughly. For example, alcohol and water, wine and soda water, concentrated fruit juice and water. Third, gas and liquid. Certain liquids contain gaseous substances. Soft drinks appear as liquid, but they actually contain carbon dioxide gas. Fourth is gas in gas. Air is a very good example of gas in a gas solution. It is a mixture of several invisible gases, such as oxygen, which is 20.95%, 
nitrogen 78.09%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, argon 0.93%, and several trace gases, water vapor, methane, and ammonia. And last is solid in solid. Still, basically a solution of carbon atoms in a crystalline matrix of iron atoms. For example, alloys like bronze, aluminum, nickel, and many others. Also, polymers containing plasticizers. A solution is formed when one substance is dissolved in another substance. When a substance is dissolved, it breaks down into molecules. These molecules mixed with other molecules of another substance. Solutions contain solute and solvents. When you look at a solution, it is not possible to distinguish a solute from a solvent. Solute is a substance that dissolves in another substance, while a solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute. For example of solution, salt solution. What are their components? Salt and water. What is the solute? Salt. And what is the solvent? Water. Identify which is the solute and the solvent from the following solutions. Number one, soft drinks. The solute in soft drinks are sweeteners and flavorings, and the solvent is water. Number two, orange juice. For orange juice, the solute is powdered juice and the solvent is water. Number three, rubbing alcohol. For rubbing alcohol, the solute is water and the solvent is isoprenol. Although water is the universal solvent, in this case, the amount of alcohol is greater than the water. This means that water is being dissolved in alcohol. Number 4. Fruit juice in water For fruit juice in water, the solute is fruit juice and the solvent is water. Number 5. Vinegar For vinegar, the solute is acetic acid and the solvent is water. Solutions are very important in our daily lives. We use solutions in medicine, food industry, agriculture, and even at home. Now that you already know the appearance of different types of solutions, you can also distinguish uniform and non-uniform mixtures.